This is the young lady who humiliated herself and her boyfriend at Omale's concert. And after the guy got a lot of public sympathy and a lot of female admirers, and also got uh, the attention of one popular USA streamer, Sinet, attention, who gave him huge amount of money. Well, this girl is kind of like jealous and uh, want to explain herself. She wants to apologize to whoever I don't understand. But most importantly, she wants to explain what actually happened. I don't think there is any explanation that is going to give excuse to what she did. But anyway, let's listen to our guys. Who knows? She might make a lot of sense. Hi, everyone. Um... I thought I was going to do a story time and tell my side of the story because the amount of hate that I'm getting, I'm getting I'm getting called all types of things that I've never even heard before. Like, it's getting a bit scary and I keep coming and keep coming. Like, whoa. So, I really want to explain myself um, and address a few rumours as well. But, obviously, before I get that started, I want to publicly apologise to him. Obviously, me and him, we've had private conversations where we spoke, but since it was public, I think the right thing for me to do is to publicly apologize to him. Like that was bad, but you know, I made it, it was honestly a mistake. I just, if I knew this would like get this far, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even go to the concert. I don't know, because this is not worth the hate that I'm receiving, but yeah since it was public i want to publicly apologize to him so yeah let's just get straight into like the, the story and uh, the rumors actually i want to address the rumors first so why am i okay first of all first of all who's fafa no who's that person whoever said that my name is fafa can you come no come please because how I literally, I literally went on stage. I literally said my name is Jess. I said it twice. So I don't know how people are getting. She said that name was Jess. <laughs> it wouldn't give a damn what your name was. Eh? Or oh, what your name is. Who give a damn? Do you think Omar is going to really take you seriously? You blew up your relationship because of few minute fame, few minute enjoyment. And now you are, she is so hungry that O'Malley gave a shout out to Fafa, this video. Someone approached O'Malley and said, give a shout out to the girl you were on stage with the other night. And O'Malley wanted to say, ah, oh, shout out to that B, the B word. But the guy said, no, her name is Fafa. Then he quickly said, oh, shout out to Fafa. That's her name, Fafa. And now she's hungry that her name was Jess. That Omale couldn't even remember her name. Is that the excuse you want to give us? Is that the honestly the excuse that you feel like is appropriate for you to give us? Your name, Jess? Who give a damn about your name? Do you think Omale is going to store your name? Do you know how many fans Omale has? Female fans, you are not even the frat. You think you are the you are the shit. <laughs> it's crazy, but let's stay continue to listen to our guys. Information, like information from that's not my name, please. Like no, um, and also people saying that he's the one that bought the tickets. Who, I beg, who who told you that as well? Who said he's the one that bought the tickets? It was me. I'm the one that bought the tickets. I wanted me and him to have a good time because, you know, like, we're young. Like, real young. So, like, I thought this is a good thing to do. Let me just take my man to a concert. Let's have fun. Like, that's it. There's nothing wrong with that. I beg, since when is it illegal to do so? Since when? That just tells you a lot because us women, we can do things as well. Like, if I want to take my man out, I'll take my man out. So, so yeah, like I said, it was me. Anyway. So she was the one that bought the ticket, okay? So apparently, if you are the one feeding or if you are the one providing for the other person, 
you have every right to do whatever you want. That's exactly what you are saying now. That's exactly what men have been saying. If we are providing, then there's no need for you to feel embarrassed or there's no need for you to feel some certain way if we cheat. Is that honestly the excuse you want to give to us? Because you bought the ticket and that's a, whole, that's a, a good reason for you to do what you did? Because you bought the ticket? Really? Because you bought the ticket? Is that a good reason for you to go on that stage and act as if you are the man, you bought the ticket, yes, I can do whatever the F for want. You saw your stuff on that stage. Okay, maybe you should also explain to us how you were even begging on Mali to call you the next day. Oh, oh man, if that guy honestly, if that guy honestly decided to take this guy seriously after that, uh, oh my God, damn it, <laughs> then that guy need a deliverance, honestly. Come on, man. Hmm? That guy really need deliverance. Hmm? So you're going to explain to us the reason why you did what you did is because you bought the ticket. Okay, let's continue that. Also, me and him, like, we've had private conversations about going on stage with Omane because he does this at his shows. If you know, if you really know Omane, you will know that he's done this in his past, at his past concerts. Like, this is what he does. This is literally what he does. Like, it's nothing new. So obviously, I said, you know, him at this conversation, like, I said to him, um, if I was to get called on stage, I'm going to go on stage. And he said, that's fine. Like, he's been saying that's fine. Like, we, me and him never, ever, ever had an issue with me going on stage, even when the time came. Like, I think there was a video where people were saying, like, I was moving away from him. Like, I was pushing him away. Like, no. Like... Omale literally looked at me and said, yeah. he said, I want you. This is he said, Omale looked at him and said, I want you, I want you, I want you, I want you. And that's the reason why she decided to go to Omale. And they already had that conversation. So, because you had that conversation, does that mean that you should actually do it? Or oh, because you had that conversation, like, if you tell me as your man that, oh, if so, so, so artist called you on stage that you're going to go, and I said, I have nothing. Okay, okay, no, fine. I have no issue with it. Then does that mean that you should disrespect, disrespect me or still go? Come on, man. If I tell you I have no issue with it because I just want to be comfortable, but you should also respect me not to go. You know, they are just young and wild. So they are both young and wild. So it's understandable. They don't understand the commitment in a relationship. They don't understand. Both of them, they are both young. When you see this girl's face, she's young. And see the guy's face, he's young as well. So both of them, they are both young. They don't understand what it means by commitment and respect in a relationship. So I'm going to give this girl a pass, honestly. Let me be honest with you. I'm going to give her, I'm going to give her a pass because of they are young. They are young and they need to learn self-respect. Self-respect. Huh? So I'm going to just give them a pass because as a guy, why will my girlfriend be approaching me telling me that if they go to, if we go to social concert, that if the artist called out state that she's going to go, I'm just going to look at that guy and say, you are not serious. I'm straightforward because I'm, I'm a matured man. I'm going to say the way it is. I would tell her, you are not serious. Don't ever try that. I'm not going to that concert. You know, it's going to go even bring an issue. You ask my girlfriend, and me asking me such stupid questions. Because they are both young and wild and free, of course, the girl can ask that guy question, and the guy will just foolishly be like, okay, no problem. Why not? <laughs> I just got really excited because Omale is like one of my favorite artists. I don't care what anybody says. Like you all have favorite artists. I didn't want to hear that. Like so, he's mine. So obviously, he's my favorite artist, not mine. Um, so obviously, I got really excited. I was just genuinely happy. 
And obviously when I moved to the side, um, that was when he asked me to go on stage. I was just waiting for, um, obviously the security to get me out of the crowd. That's why I was even stood there. She said, oh, Mali is mine. <laughs> She said, oh, Mali is mine. <laughs> you know, Mali has a lot of fans, right? There are other uh, uh, female uh, fans that are going to roast you for saying, oh, Mali is yours, right? Because they still claim, oh, Mali is theirs as well. Oh, <laughs> Mali is not yours, so don't allow other fans to, to, to eat you up, Jess. Her name is Jess, it's not Fafa. <laughs> Her name is Jess, not Fafa. So she made that clear and straight. Her name is Jess and not Fafa. So uh, Omale should uh, do another video now and say, Oh, hello, Jess. Sorry for calling you Fafa. You understand? <laughs> well, that is just part one of the explanation. That is just part one of the explanation. We are waiting for part two of the explanation for her to tell us what actually happened. I, what I want to know is that did she really, did she really, hmm? did she really uh, meant Omale after, after the whole thing? Because towards the hand, towards the hand, she was asking Omale, call me tomorrow, call me tomorrow. So we want to know. Omale knock you or not? Hmm? Did Omale, did you and Omale see after the concert and the Omale knock you or not? Or it just ended there? Hmm? We want to know. We want to know, honestly. We really want to know. Huh? We really want to know. And meanwhile, I just feel like they are both young and wide and free and doing whatever they, they like doing. No commitment. No, they don't really understand the what it means to be in a very serious relationship they are just all over themselves you no know, just enjoying themselves and on so well the girl need to learn self-respect first she need to learn self-respect and uh so girl, let me know exactly how you feel though, because i cannot entirely castigate this girl or criticize her because uh they are the conversation and the guy is also at fault at this uh, in this as well though but I want the guy to capitalize on this uh, emotional blackmail and everything. She, he should capitalize on it and make sure he makes a lot of money from it, you know. And the girl as well, you know, I don't know. I, that, your, your explanation just only going to make us talk. It's not as if we're going to uh, take the explanation. Me, I'm not going to take the explanation. And uh, nobody's even asking for any explanation. Uh, if we saw what we saw. And they just show that you guys, you know, no form of uh, discipline.